Good morning school and welcome to this week's assembly. Uh, I want to begin by saying uh, well done you've nearly made it to half term. Uh, it's been a, a long uh, a long few weeks in the, the bitterly cold dark months of, uh, of January and February uh, but I think you've done amazingly well. Now you'll notice that I'm outside on this clear uh, sunny February morning although it's bitterly cold I have to say um, and I'm outside because that's one of the things that we are hoping to encourage uh, you to do. Uh, you should have noticed uh, and your tutors hopefully have spoken to you about this that we're changing things up slightly on Wednesday afternoon. We've made a decision to suspend uh, lessons on Wednesday afternoon and encourage you to do something different instead. Now the reasons for this is quite simply we're aware uh, and very conscious of the amount of time that all of us have been spending online and on screens uh, and quite simply uh, we wanted to change things up a bit because we feel that there are real benefits in uh, getting outside, getting away from the screens and trying something else uh, instead and so what we've done is we've come up with a series uh, of challenges and activities. Now there's a, a whole host of things and we're going to go through those with you uh, in a moment um, and what we want you to try and do is we want you to use the time tomorrow uh, to really try something, maybe try something that you haven't done before. What we expect and what we want to see is evidence of you getting involved and trying some of these different activities, whether it's cooking, whether it's physical activity, whether it's something creative or, or imaginative. We want to see what you've been doing. Please uh, work with us on this and, and treat this in the way in which it's designed and the way in which it's intended, which is an opportunity for you to do something, something different, to try something new. So we've got some time. We've got some time that we wouldn't normally have and we really want to encourage you to use that time and maybe do something that you wouldn't normally do. So one of the things you might want to do is one of our artistic challenges. Uh, you get outside, uh, take yourself a, a, a photo, the most interesting photo you can. It could be nature inspired, but it doesn't have to be any interesting photo that you think. Or get your pens, pencils, colours out uh, and paint or draw or something. Again, it could be a landscape, a real landscape or an imaginary landscape. Or go out for a walk, get together some leaves, twigs, pine cones and make some form of uh, kind of nature collage. Uh, anything uh, is uh, available to you. Let's see how creative you can be. If you produce something particularly good, you might want to um, you might want to have a go uh, and put in for the uh, the art and photography competition that Mrs. Wild is very very excited about. That's the Signs of Spring uh, competition, and you can put your entries in at photography at akslitham.com. That creativity doesn't have to be confined to uh, art though, you may wish to get creative in the kitchen so you might want to uh, knock up some cupcakes or cookies. I've actually put a couple of recipes uh, on the school website for you to have a look at but don't be restricted by them, you can create anything, get yourself, uh, get your apron on, wash your hands and see what you can come up with. You might decide uh, why not cook dinner uh, for your whole family but of course make sure you wash up as well. There's also lots and lots of uh, challenges to get you thinking. Uh, we're after short stories, we're after a bit of writing or some reading, you know, to spend a bit of time uh, reading a book or, or playing chess. Again, on the website, I've put some uh, origami things. You can print those out and have a go at that ancient, uh, ancient art form. Uh, or similarly, you can have a go at the crosswords uh, that I've put in. I know I've already seen some of you take part in the cover song challenges uh, that the music department have been putting out. So you might want to spend your time uh, rehearsing some music or knocking up a, a comic strip or, or designing the best thing you can uh, with Lego or Meccano or something like that. So let's get creative and try those. We would also encourage you to, to try and, and help out. So why not get the old, uh, get your gloves on, get your rake out, tidy up the garden or get a sponge and bucket and, and clean the family car inside and out. Or if, you, if your cupboards are a mess, spend a little bit of time going through those drawers, uh, tidying up your cupboards, maybe having a little bit of a clear out. And what I think would be really, really lovely, why not take a little moment or two uh, to write a letter or a card to a grandparent, a relative or a neighbour, you know, ask how they are, uh, update them on your news and recent developments. If you don't fancy, uh, even if you don't fancy writing, why not pick up the phone uh, and give them a call? I'm sure they'd love to hear from you. 
there's also some physical challenges that you might want to try. You might want to try uh, some keepy uppies uh, to see what you can do. Use a, a tennis ball, a football, a hacky sack, whatever you've got. Or you might want to have a go at a GPS drawing. For this, you'll need a, a smartwatch or similar. Um, get out and see what patterns you can create uh, as you go around the local area. Um, so you can spell things out or, or create patterns. We'd love to see what you can produce. One of the things uh, that you might want to think about is our five kilometer challenge. Now, if you remember uh, Top Gear or a fan of BBC's Top Gear, you'll notice they used to do the, the power lap time where they would um, they would take cars around the Top Gear track and see how fast they can do a lap. So I thought it'd be interesting to do something similar. So what I did is I went out to some of my colleagues and said, right, let's try a five kilometer, that's three point, just over 3.1 miles. Let's try a five kilometer run and you put in a time and let's see how quick you can do your five kilometer time. And then the students can have a go and you can compare yourselves. Are you uh, how quick are you do, uh, in comparison uh, to some of your teachers? So let's have a look at some of our times. I think I've got seven members of staff so far uh, have put in times. Uh, Mrs. Grant uh, put in a very, very impressive 31 minutes 30 uh, for 5K. Uh, Mrs. Yellen just squeaked ahead of her uh, with 30.51. Miss McKenna from the prep school, uh, again, just slightly ahead of her with 30.26. And Mr. Monroe, uh, our catering manager, uh, put in a very, very impressive uh, 30 minutes, uh, 17. I just managed to squeak under the uh, 27 uh, minutes, but I'm a positive uh, tortoise compared to Mr. Rudd, uh, who put in an outstanding 20 minutes, uh, 32. Uh, 21 minutes 32 is an incredible time that Mr. Rudd, but leading the way at the top, and he was very, very keen, and I told you it was wet when he did this as well, so that apparently slowed him down a bit, was Mr. McEwen, uh, who put in 19 minutes 47 seconds uh, for his 5K. It's not surprising, though, I believe he was on the bus. So the challenge that I would put out to you, school, is who are you quicker than? Where would you fit in on this time? I think about some of our kind of elite athletes that we see uh, in the school and I wonder could they beat uh, Mr McEwen even though he's giving you uh, giving you probably about 30 years uh, or, or Mr Rudd even though he might be giving you just a couple more than that. Um, so let's see how quick you are. Let's think about those kind of those elite athletes we've got in the school and also those non-elite athletes. 5K is a challenge. It's not easy running or walking a 5K. So actually, it, you don't have to be at the top of this leaderboard. Uh, if you can get in a, a 5K time, that would be really, really impressive. So have a go. Use your, uh, use your phone or your watches to see what you've got and let's see what times you can put in. So, there's a variety of things that we want you to do. So on Thursday morning, we want you to share with your tutors your pictures and your creation. Think about your form. Who's the best cook? Who's the best artist? Who's the quickest? Who's the most creative? Yeah, we really, really want to see what you've been doing. I'm just going to finish with this. You know, sometimes you have to break from the grind and clear your mind. Uh, in, as I say, what has been quite difficult weeks for, for everyone, um, we are giving you a little bit of time here and I really, really urge you not to waste it. Do something that you maybe not haven't done before. Do something that you're going to enjoy. Don't waste that time. Please use that time and let's see what you come up with. Okay, school, stay safe and I'll see you soon.